I think as, um, as teachers here in the United States, the issue of race science, which was very popular in the United States. It was not only in Nazi Germany, and if you look at your own states, if each individual state looks at its history, and you can look and see the laws that were on the books regarding sterilization, regarding who could marry whom. So again, looking at U.S. history, especially in the latter part of the 19th century, the eugenics movement, how this became so popular, and the whole notion of race, the definition of race, and who categorizing people. This is very, very relevant. What are the questions that your students ask when you're teaching this? How many of you have taught about the Holocaust? They want to know why. They want to know how could this have started. Okay. They want to know, well, you know, why is Hitler so anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic? They want to know the root of it all. Okay. They want to know, too, why they willingly are war prisoners. You know, seventh grade, why okay. would have not done right. This, right. I would have. I would have fought back. Right. And they did. And that's. And that's a very good issue to bring up. They did. And we have to teach about resistance. Well, one of the questions related to that is why didn't they just leave? You know, why didn't they just pack up and go somewhere else? Well, again, the complexities of this history. Don't avoid those questions when they ask you. Why didn't? Why couldn't they just pack up and leave? Okay, so we look at the Evian Conference, which is where we look at the failure of other nations to respond to the growing crisis in Europe. And that's what this, this symbolizes that, this political cartoon. This appeared in the New York Times July 3rd, 1938, just before the Evian Conference was to begin. So we can take this image and we can deconstruct this. And what do we see happening here? Stop signs, no place to go. Okay, stop signs on what? What is he okay. Every point, every direction ends with that halt. You can't, you can't go. And who is this person? Non-Aryan. Okay. Non-Aryan, presumably Jewish, the kippah. Um, and what's on the horizon? Okay. Um, the Evian Conference invited nations to attend to discuss the growing refugee problem. So 32 countries send representatives to this conference, but yet they're also told, we're not going to ask you to take any more people in. So the conference was basically a failure before it even began, because only one country stepped forward and said, we're willing to take in more refugees than what we have on our quotas, listed as our quotas. And that, does anybody know what that country was, what the one country was? It's right down here, the Dominican Republic. This also revealed a lot of anti-Semitic thought from leaders of other nations. Some countries said, you know, we don't have a Jewish problem and we don't want to import one. Um, some said, you know, we're, we're going through our own issues. And that's very true because we've got to contextualize this from what happened in the 1920s, what happened in 1929, the economic, the, the depression as well. But yet we also have to factor in anti-Semitic sentiments. Because who are these refugees? Well, they're mostly Jewish. They might take our jobs. They might take, you know, we don't have money to support them. 